uh, this patient, uh, 71 years old, Mr. Abdul Amir, he came from Iraq with complaints of neck swelling. And uh, when we evaluated, we found that the patient is having carcinoma of thyroid gland, that is papillary carcinoma of thyroid, with lymph nodes on one side. When we did endoscopy, we found one side cord was paralyzed and the uh, growth, the thyroid cancer was infiltrating into the trachea. So we offered him surgery. We did total thyroidectomy with central compartment, neck dissection and the side where it was bilateral uh, neck dissection we did and we resected the uh, trachea about 4 cm and we did end to end anastomosis. The, patient, uh, the operation was successful, we could get R0 resection and patient was discharged on 5th post operative day. And now you can see he is sitting with me. Uh, he is due for radio iodine ablation on Monday. And patient's voice you can listen. He because we saved the opposite side recurrent lesion nerve very clearly. So he does not have any hypocalcemia feature or hypoparathyroid features. And he is doing very well. <laughs> to thanks Mr. Dr. Ramaningam for his uh, wonderful job. At the beginning, uh, before three years ago, he got diagnosed by a thyroid <coughs> problem. 
So he did many tests, he went to many doctors. They didn't give him a right answer for uh, whatever problem he is having. So he left that problem and he didn't treat it for some times. After that, then he went to uh, Iran, Republic of Iran, and he also saw many doctors there, many of them telling him many choices to do, uh, different risk. And so he, he was so confused to do the surgery. He was so confused to, to take any treatment from them. After he contacted me and I show Mr. Dr. Ramaningam the reports. So he asked me to bring that patient and to evaluate the patients. After he came here, we evaluated the patients. So we came to know that this patient is having a very big problem in the neck. Uh, infecting also the trachea and the thyroid gland both sides so Dr. Ramaningam he asked for many tests he was doing the test in his hand he was like a supervisor of every test and repeating the test until he he was very accurate on his uh, work so after that he decided for the surgery and it was very major surgery and it's also risky I explained to the patient that this, this surgery will be like a very risky surgery and long, it's about like 10 to 11 hours surgery. Patient decided to go to Mumbai and to check there for another hospital. He went there for two or three days. He checked with doctors. They said we can only remove the uh, thyroid gland and we cannot do the uh, trachea. We will give a radiotherapy or chemotherapy. So, by the patient's opinion, that was a not good option. That was not a good treatment because we are not sure if it's coming back or not coming back. He decided to come back here again to BLK and to Dr. Ramaningam. <clears throat> then we have decided to go for the surgery. We have done the surgery and uh, it was a very long surgery, 12 hour surgery. The patient was very like after he's coming from the uh, ICU, he was, we, me and his son, we was very, very scared about, but the patient was very good. And we also was very confident uh, about uh, Dr. Ramaningam. I also worked with him for a long time. He's a wonderful man, a wonderful human being, a wonderful doctor and very respectful. <coughs> I also would like to thank him for whatever, his, whatever job he has done with this patient. Now the patient is very good, in very good condition, and uh, he will take a radio iodine therapy on next Monday. After that, we will send him home. A very nice day, and thank you. BLK Super Speciality Hospital, a passion for healing.